Hello, I'm Ty Mason of the DiabetesCouncil.com, a researcher, writer, and I have type 2 diabetes. Today I'm going to answer the question, is the zone diet good for diabetes? But before we get into that, make sure you download my free diabetes management book, which also includes a diabetes grocery shopping guide, foods to eat and avoid, by clicking the link below. Now there have been a lot of fad diets over the years. A couple of the crazier ones I found in my research were the cotton ball diet, where people would actually eat cotton balls soaked in orange juice. But crazier than that was the tapeworm diet, in which people purposefully introduce tapeworms to their bodies in an effort to lose weight. There's been the Atkins diet, South Beach diet, grapefruit diet, volumetrics, Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, paleo, and the list goes on and on. Now, the Zone Diet was developed by Dr. Barry Sears over a 20-year period. While it is true that Barry Sears is a doctor, he has a Ph.D. in biochemistry, something the Zone Diet's website neglects to tell you about in the About Dr. Sears section, in which he is pictured wearing a lab coat much like a medical doctor would wear. From what I could find on the Zone Diet's webpage, as a brief summary of the diet says that the key factor in zone diet is the hormonal balance you achieve while eating at each skillfully prepared meal with a food plan comprising an accurate balanced ratio of carbohydrates at 40%, fat at 30%, and proteins at 30%. You actually get to eat foods which control your body's insulin production. Now the claims of Barry Sears is that his diet can actually reverse type 2 diabetes. The U.S. Army Research Institute of Medicine decided to put that claim to test, and as of 2013, there were no cross-sectional or longitudinal studies examining the potential health merit of adopting the zone diet, per se, and closely related peer review findings from scientific research cast strong doubt over the purported benefits of this diet. When properly evaluated, the theories and arguments of popular low-carbohydrate diet books like the zone rely on poorly controlled, non-peer-reviewed studies, anecdotes, and non-science rhetoric. Now, there is some evidence that the zone diet can help you lose weight, but to reverse diabetes, well, that's a far-fetched claim. In debunking the zone diet, medical doctor Charles Atwood goes so far as to say, without careful monitoring, this diet may lead to ketosis. If ketosis sounds familiar, it's the result when insulin-dependent diabetics can't metabolize carbohydrates without their insulin injections, a state leading to a diabetic coma. So, is the zone diet good for diabetes? I know I will catch some heat from some of you zonies at my answer. Uh, you can lose weight fast. The initial weight loss is water and lean muscle rather than fat. From experience with low-carb diets, I must conclude that no. The zone diet not only will never reverse your diabetes, it is a dangerous diet without strict monitoring. I hope this answered your question, is the zone diet good or bad for diabetes? Don't forget to get your diabetes management book by clicking the link in the description box below. And as always, if you have any other diabetes related questions, be sure to let me know. Thank you for watching. I'm Ty Mason.